Party started. Hey, welcome. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to the Temple of the Living God. How's everyone feeling? It's really good to see all of you here. Be excited. There's so much more going on after service, but we'll talk about more of that later. Let's get this party started. Richard, take it away, brother. Everybody. And we'd like to welcome our guest speaker today, Lynn Forrest. Yes. And she'll be speaking on, speaking on cultivating abundance. So we are looking forward to hearing all of that. Yes. It's always a, a joy to hear what spirit inspires, what spires to come through. So we thank you in a, a, ahead, of, ahead of time. So I'm gonna share an inspirational reading. It's entitled Prosperity, and it's taken from Daily Word. 
and it reads as such, and I quote, I happily share my abundance with others. Created as a reflection of God, I already have everything I need. Like an overflowing cup of tea, I am filled with more than enough. I am prosperous because I am one with God, the infinite source of all there is. When I align my mind with this truth, I feel abundant and find joy in sharing with others. In order to ensure that I have plenty to give, I replenish my cup by taking care of my physical, mental, and spiritual needs. That way, I am not depleted, and I am able and eager to share from my abundance. I nurture the gifts that God has given me so they can grow. My cup runneth over, and I have plenty to share with others. And so it is. Before we begin, I'd like to just mention something quickly. The name of the song is My Soul is Welcome Here. Daniel suggested that we do it, and I agreed, because the first line is, I'm in the right place at the right time. I'm just where I'm supposed to be. And as you know, I went out to Washington and I came back in about three weeks. <laughs> so the song really means more to me now than it ever did. But I want to <laughs> But I want to remind you that you're all in the right place at the right time as well. And we're going to have a great time today. So yeah. is there anything you wanted to say? I think you? you said it all. Oh, by the way, Natalie, that was awesome. That was, that was the best uh, Vanna White impersonation I've ever seen. And uh, I really needed that. So thanks. Awesome. Go ahead. Okay, now, here we go. welcome here. Ah, so talking about abundance today, and more than that, talking about how to cultivate abundance. And so just to, first of all, even just begin to notice the abundance. So he, here's what I'd like to ask you to do for a moment. If you are willing, if you want to participate, and just 
Where do I need to go, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> Wherever it'll be, it'll be where I'm supposed to be right here, right now. All right. Um, cultivating abundance, back to that. So recognizing the abundance right now available to you. Like close your eyes just a minute. And I want you just to think about, actually open your eyes a moment and look about and notice the abundance of the room. Notice all the chairs, abundance of chairs. Notice the, friend, the, the faces of friendly others abundantly. You smile and hear the abundance of the lights, the abundan abundance of music, the abundance of doorways, windows, cards, cards, cards I'm looking at out there. Abundance of, more than I could probably use in, I don't know, abundance over and above. And you know, everything according to the ancients is created from the same exact ingredient. Everything is made of energy. Everything is made of energy. It's all energetic. The chairs, the cards, the, the smiling faces, the energy of each of us. Abundant. It is an abundant world and it cannot not be because what, abun what energy is, I believe, it's been said to be, you know, it's sort of like energy is consciousness. And energy is what comes into us through the breath. We know that, right? So think about that. Think about consciousness as being what you breathe in and release. Breathe in and release. And think of the abundance of the breath. The abundance of energy. And now think about the things that there's also the other list of abundance. Like the, uh, I, the, the, the list of the I don't have enoughs. You know, I, it, I, scarcity of money of bi and the, the too many bills and the, that's all energy too. That's the negative side, you know? So even scarcity is abundant. Think about that. And so then it makes you ask the question, makes me ask the question, so if there is good and bad energy, that's not what we're told. Not what we're told and that's not what metaphysics teaches. It teaches energy is energy and it's not that it's intrinsically right, wrong, good, bad. It's what frequency are you focusing on? That's what determines, you know? So going back a minute when I was talking about everything is made of the same one thing which is conscious energy. So that's where we are so far in this exchange. So, yeah, so everything is made of that. And, and what, de what determines <coughs> what it's made, what, what is before you, is not that it's a different kind of thing and you have to take this thing that's separate from this thing and put it together. No, it's the same one thing. What is that? It's, it's intention. What do I, what am I focusing on? Because whatever I'm focusing on, it's going to get bigger, guys, because the law of abundance says so. So if you're focused on um, how hard your life is, if you're focused on how little you have, how you don't have what you want, how it's not good enough, how it should be better, how because I can't have it, I don't get. This is the focus. Think about the frequency of that energy. Think about the last time, could have been as recently as this morning, when you got up and you were just in a state, and it wasn't a happy state. It was an anxious state, or an angry state, or a fearful state. And so you start telling, you have that, that, that run, that, that 
uh, uh, mental rag that just runs through your mind of why it's you're having a bad day you know and what you're doing is you're generating energy you're generating energy of the frequency that you are focusing on so and this is these are keys to manifestation this is how we manifest is that we set an intention and we, what do we do? We line up with it. You know? It's the, the law of attraction. That what we focus on, we make bigger and it attracts the same energy to it. And then in that way we prove it to be whatever story we've created about it. You know? So, you know, I'm focused on how I'm not getting what I need from you and you're just not giving me what I need and I'm angry about it and I'm disappointed in it and, and I'm letting you know about it and so I'm giving all this energy. Do you think we're going to get closer or are we going to have more of this kind of clashing energy between us? So interesting. I, a good friend yesterday um, you know, started, uh, we went, uh, we went to the farmer's market together and, and, uh, you know, I had a story running. I had a story running and I hadn't made it conscious, but my story was not a happy one about him and about us and about what we were doing. And, and so I, I found a way to bring it up to him. I found a way to, you know, communicate my unhappiness with him. And sure enough, we had an argument. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And guess whose fault it was? His, of course. <laughs> That's the way it works. I'm focused on it. And so then when I woke up the next morning, this morning, I guess it was, this, I'm going to say, all that happened in 24 hours? <laughs> that was a lot going on there. And I got up, I did my morning practice of lining up with truth, with, with feel good, with reminding myself of the law of abundance, right? And all of a sudden, that whole encounter that I'd had with him became conscious. It just dropped into my consciousness. I'm like going, oh my God, I started a fight with him because I had decided that my unhappy story about him was true and I wasn't going to let the day go by without getting him to verify it for me. <laughs> I know none of you, I know none of you do this. <laughs> but you may know someone who does and so you want to be able to catch them next time. Yeah. Because the real trick, because this is how we shift our consciousness. We take responsibility for it. We recognize that we're the one creating our reality with the thoughts that we're putting out there, which is attracting that back, that and bigger and more. We are creators, co-creators. We're creating our personal world, and that's how we're doing it. So, yeah, so if we just think about what the word cultivate means, cultivating consciousness... So cultivating is like when you, pre you prepare the ground for. You know, you get ready for a garden, you prepare it, you, you get it, get it going, you create a place for higher consciousness to live in you. And you do that by questioning some of the old stories that you've made yourself absolutely l miserable with. You know which ones they are. They're the ones you run over and over and over and over again. You know, about how you can't trust people. Just can't trust people. You know, and so now I'm, you know, I'm looking at you askance because, you know, you just can't trust people. <laughs> so I've already got that established between me and you. <laughs> right? I mean, and it's so good to hear you all laugh because that's really helpful. Because we all do this. Every single one of us. And, uh, and, Cultivating the ground means cultivating observer. 
the observer in you, that part of me that sees me when I do that. And, and you know what's even a better trick than that? These are all skills that you, you know, practice along the way if you're someone like me who's been a lifetime uh, seeker of a connection with a higher frequency. That's, that's just been my thing. It's been the most important thing in my life. Uh, sometimes to, you know, at the cost of everything else, you know. And I've learned so much. And the observer consciousness is just that ability to see what I see about me and what I'm doing, what I'm believing, and not make it a problem. Not have to hate myself because I caught myself red-handed picking a fight with someone I care very much about. Not that he would... You know, everyone knows. That's how you can know that I really care about you, right? If, I'm, if I've engaged you in the drama of proving my story, then, you know, I'm invested. Yeah. How many of you, like, know somebody who's done this in your close? Yeah. How many of you would admit it was you? Yeah, isn't that awesome? I mean, really. Because it's the only way we're going to learn. When we can laugh about it, own it. Own it, not have to take it personal. Because as soon as we get, go personal about it, we just go back into denial. Because we just, what taking it personal ends up doing is, you know, I'm the victim here. You did the bond. You are, and if you hadn't said, and, and I, don't have to, I don't have to take an iota of responsibility. Because it's clearly you. <laughs> right? And you're saying, well, what, what, what about the times I am right? Well, what about them? Would you rather be right or happy? Yeah. Says A Course in Miracles. Yeah? Like, you know, there's no, and, and we just heard the song, you know, I am right on time. I'm right where I'm supposed to be, and that includes when I'm in a snit. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm learning a lot right there if I'll just bring consciousness to it. And allow myself to see it and give myself room. So what is, I want to say something about the word alignment. You know, my daughter told me this. She was just, uh, she's in getting, finishing up her master's degree in teaching. And um, she uh, is studying science, going back to elementary and learning elementary science. And some of you who are teachers know more, much more about this than I do. But anyway, so she's involved in that process, and so she was going back through the, the laws of science. And she, and she said, you know, when I was studying magnets, when I was reading through the magnets material and learning about that, she said, I, I found out that, you know, magnets, if you leave them alone, if you don't try to force them into place, you know, if you just leave them alone, they will line up. And, and nobody really knows how that is. How does that happen? We don't know. We don't know, but we've noticed it again and again and again that they will find their right spot. Alignment. And we are a magnet. I want to say, I want to mention also that, you know, the, the alchemical marriage, maybe you've heard of that. That's the masculine and the feminine within you, the marriage of those two. And so the masculine in this venue, in this is um, the conscious mind represented by the sun. It's, you know, it's, it's conscious mind. And the feminine is the emotional mind, the emotional body. And the marriage is bringing those two in alignment with one another so that we can, our mind and our body because our body is just going to reflect what the mind's putting out there. Whatever it's thinking, the body, I'm going to have those feelings. You know, the, the, fem, the, well, uh, the, the feminine within me will generate, it, she will emote. And it is the feeling that is the final key in manifestation. That is, when we learn how to focus on what we want more of, 
And I've been sort of teasing you all about the negative side of that. The negative side is owning what I'm doing that's generating and drawing to me a, a negative sort of energy rather than blaming the rest of the world for doing it to me. I began to go, wow, why did I need that? Why did, what am I, what part of me do I do that to, that thing that I'm so mad at him about doing? How am I doing that? Who is that in me? And then I use it to say, how would I like it to be? Yeah? How would I like, well, I want to establish camaraderie. I want a connection. I want to... I want to um, have an honest exchange. I want to be able to uh, walk in peace. I want, um, and you know, if you just if you just focus on generating more and more happy, upbeat, pr a positive energy every day, it will cause all manner of positive, beautiful, wonderful things to flow into your life. And so, I would just say to you. Give it a try. You know? Give it a try. It's, that's the work. That's the work that I'm talking to you about and that I talk to you about every time I get a chance to stand up here. Thank you very much for tolerating me. <laughs> you know? Because, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I just brought that right in, didn't I? <laughs> Don't you love that? <laughs> it's exciting when we understand the magic. We are, the very first law is that all the power that ever was, or will be, ever can be, is here right now. And I can, I can pull it in. I can generate it. I can focus. I get to choose what I want to focus on. And I get to focus on... on uh, whether I get to choose whether I want to focus on how bad things are in the world and get all scared and traumatized and, ir and, and uh, angst about it, or I want to look around and go, look at the abundance. Look at the people I'm surrounded with, people who love me, and I don't know why. <laughs> you know, but I'm grateful for it. You know? So... Yeah, let's see. There was one more thing I was going to end this on, but I don't remember what it is. Let's see if I can find it. It was good, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Let me turn it over here. Oh, I wanted to leave you with this technique. That's why I want you to go home with something. So I want you to go home with this. First of all, there's a man named Neville Goddard. I highly recommend him, and he said this about the conscious mind and the, fe and the, and the subconscious, the feminine. He said, sleep is the time when the male or conscious mind turns from the world, outer world, and to seek its lover or subconscious self. And so the next time you want to do that, like tonight would be good, <laughs> you know? When you get in bed, lay down, lay down flat with your head, even with the rest of your body. And I want you just to take uh, just to ask yourself the, the question, what would it look like if I had right now, already have in my possession, in my life experience, what if I already have what I most desire? What if I'm, and allow yourself to feel that, to feel as if you already have it. And feel how excited you are and how grateful you are and how it shifts you to have that consciousness or whatever it is. Allow yourself to feel it. And allow yourself to just gently fall asleep in that state of mind. Begin to slowly practice shifting from the negative, which we're addicted to, that negative, that, that toxic, uh, you know, Toddy, we like to get up and start sipping on with, along with our coffee that says, oh, this is going to be a hard day. You know? Yeah. Just to shift into waking up in the morning grateful to be who you are, where you are, get to listen to me right now. Much love. Thank you so much.
Thank you, thank you, Lynn. What a blessing. Yes, thank you. Oh. Well, we're going to move into our time of uh, tithes and offerings now, and I would ask for the ushers to come forth, please. Let us pray. Infinite source of all life, we give thanks for this opportunity to share from our hearts knowing that as we share, many are blessed. And we acknowledge that divine love moving through in and each and every one of us blesses and multiplies all that we have, all that we give, and all that we receive. And so it is. Amen. Thank you. And those of you who are on social media, we also invite you to uh, participate. If you're on our website, then you can hit the donate button and uh, follow through with the instructions there. And if you're on YouTube, you can log on to our website, which is www.tlgchurch, I'm sorry, tlgtemple.org. And then uh, you'll see that where it says donate button there as well. So we thank you in advance. And so now, let us listen to our closing song as the band, Hey, we're officially back to Carol and the Goodfellas. Carol and the Goodfellas. Just so nobody gets confused yeah. anymore. Mary Moore, I'm sorry about last week. Yeah, I know you didn't know what to call us. And I'm sure you've got a list. But uh, you can call us Carol and the Goodfellas. So if you guys are okay with that, we're okay with that. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Carol and the Goodfellas. Carol and the Good Looking Fellas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take that too. You guys know the song, we've been singing it for a few weeks, so uh, sing with us if you can. Stand up, enjoy, move your body, and get ready for an afternoon of joy and fun and excitement. So let's do it. Go out and shine your light You know the time is right You gotta go out and shine your light Go out and shine, go out and shine Go out and shine your light You know the time is right You gotta go out and shine your light Go out and shine Go out and shine Step out and take a chance Walk the talk, join the dance Relax, enjoy the ride Let kindness be your guide While you go out and shine your light You know the time is right You gotta go out and shine your light Go out and shine Go out and shine One voice, one hand, one heart Want a change, gotta make a start yeah. We're one big family What's good for you is good for me Come on and go out and shine your lights You know the time is right, you gotta go out and shine your light. Go out and shine, go out and shine, go out and shine, go out and shine. All right, everybody, get ready for the big festivities. Take it out to the lobby, talk to your friends, shop in the bookstore, and then we'll see you in here very soon. Have fun, y'all.